All right, so it's a freezing cold day out today. It's like minus 30 or some full freaking ridiculous thing. And of course, I'm all out of food. So at some point I have to go out to the store. But before I do, I thought I would take the time to try out this fun sheet mask that I found at the drugstore. And this is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Sheet Mask. So I'm just reading off the website. Apparently Garnier has two sheet masks in the Moisture Bomb line. This one, and there's a super hydrating soothing mask that looks like it's good for sensitive skin. When I first saw this, I wasn't really that excited to try it out because me and sheet masks, I don't know. They kind of make me a little claustrophobic. I don't know. It's just one of my weird things. But this one is specially formulated for dry skin, which is what I have, so I'm willing to give it a go. So on the website, this says this is a super hydrating sheet mask that provides deep moisture for instantly softer and radiant skin in only 15 minutes. This mask has anti-thirst technology. Ooh, exciting. With actives from nature, hyaluronic acid and a half a bottle of hydrating serum that quenches dehydrated skin by recharging the superficial layers of the epidermis with water for 24 hours of lasting moisture. Wow, that was a mouthful. This mask also strengthens skin's natural barrier to protect it from external aggressions and preserve its youthful appearance. The 100% natural cellulose fiber tissue adheres perfectly to the facial contours and works like a hydrating compress by infusing every part of the face with moisture. And I have no idea what that means, but it sounds good. With the Moisture Bomb Super Hydrating Sheet Mask, the skin is replumped with a luminous complexion that is the very picture of natural glowing skin. Okay, so the website has a lot to say. So I am addicted to face masks. They are one of my all time favorite pampering products. I will link my playlist down below of all the other face masks I've tried out for this channel. So like I said earlier, I don't normally use sheet masks. Um, I don't know. I just, I prefer the kind in a jar that you smear all over. I guess I'm just weird that way because those kind are kind of messy. But I think it's because uh, I find, I don't know, they're hard to stay on and they make me feel a little claustrophobic and oh my god, this is wet. Okay. There's a mild smell, but um, I can't really figure out what it is. It's kind of fruity, but not overly. So apparently, try not to make a mess. Oh my God, there's a lot of slime in here. The blue front is supposed to face out front. If I can get this, what the heck? How do you unfold this thing? Oh my goodness. Okay, so apparently the blue side faces, I can't see for the life of me what I'm doing. I don't know, I don't know who has eyes this close together. This is silly. Oh, here we go. There we go. There we go. It's still, it's really weird. It doesn't really fit my face. And it's extremely slimy. And I guess that's where your mouth goes. Okay. And I guess this blue gauze just peels. Yeah, I don't know if I just have a weird shaped face or something, or this is how they all fit, but oh my gosh, this is just bizarre. Okay, so we got it on, finally. So I guess it's just a matter of smoothing it out. And uh, yeah. Well, it's extremely wet and slimy. We've got uh, some major drippage happening here. There's a lot of serum in this, and there's still, a there's a buttload of liquid in here also. I really don't know why they included so much. All right, so I'm just gonna go try and relax and try not to move because I keep feeling like this is gonna fall off me at any time. And uh, I look a little like a character from a movie. So yeah, I'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay. So it's been 15 minutes. I've just been sitting here watching YouTube videos and trying not to move. So I'm feeling a little closed in. So let's take this off. Reading the back of this, what you're supposed to do is just massage the serum 
into your face, which I mean, makes cleanup a heck of a lot easier. I normally don't, like I said, I'm not really into sheet masks normally. I think I prefer the kind that you rinse off your face more because it's just, um, it's easier to move around and do things than with sheet masks. I mean, I was sitting here like a zombie trying not to move with this thing on. It was very awkward. But uh, yeah, the serum is very nice and refreshing. It feels a little like there's aloe in this. It's very cooling and soothing on the skin. Still a little wet, but overall it seems to be absorbing into my skin okay. I do kind of like that I got to skip that part afterwards where you have to scrub and rinse your face. Despite the awkwardness of the mask, I mean, it was awkward to apply, it was awkward for it to stay on. So despite all that, I do really like this one. It was only $3, so it might be worth giving it a try. So far, my skin feels really nice. It feels really moisturized. I don't wanna to touch it too much but um, it feels nice and hydrated and moisturized. It doesn't feel greasy. So I'm pretty impressed with this one. I think I would totally pick it up again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and share if you did. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell right there. I think it is. Let me know down below in the comments section if you have any other face masks you'd like me to try out or any other weird face products. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.